Okay, everybody, I just got to Walmart so I can start my BBL supplies list, which is not very much, very long, but I'm gonna get like the important stuff now. So yeah, uh, come with me while I go shopping. <laughs> they still got it like one way again. I'm gonna have to put on my damn mask when I get to the entrance, but yeah, stay tuned. So like I usually do, I'm gonna wipe off this dirty buggy. All right, y'all. Uh, so they don't got the like the wipe. So I'm just gonna like grab a piece of this, of a towel. Ew, spray. So dirty, I don't wanna touch it, but I'm gonna try to grab it like this. Spray. Wipe it. Cause you know, I put my big old purse right here. I'm not holding my purse. <laughs> I don't know if they're too busy in here today. Well, at this time, but it's cool. So first I wanna head to is uh, I got a list so I'm first going to head towards the gowns because I feel like their gowns like yeah they'll be cheap also like they're so big and stuff and I just thought I'll be so nice and comfy after taking a nice shower and you know I just gonna be comfortable so I thought like their big old gowns were cool to get so I'll show y'all what that looks like These was the uh, the gowns that I first saw a while ago. I thought they were like something nice to get for surgery. I know they probably look ugly, but I'm not really going based off how they look for real. I just like how like they're big and I can just put it over me. So yeah, I'm gonna get like at least two of these. Okay, and so I got that and now um it wasn't at this Walmart, but I saw they had like these um kind of like strap stretchy shirts and i wanted to get like some of them because they look super super stretchy and comfortable so yeah like i felt like it'll be so good to have it for after surgery so all i gotta do is just find it basically i'm thinking it should probably be towards the front of the store or maybe these are right here these are bomb i haven't got like clothing stuff wise more in a long time probably since i was a little girl are these it? I don't know if these ones are it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, these are it too, but I think they have like a different style. Let me see if it's it over here. Nope, those ain't it. Well, I may just have to go with these ones for now. I'm only gonna get like maybe two or three. Not a whole bunch. And they're 348. Super stretchy, you guys. Okay, guys, so I actually found them. They're right here. So I knew they were in front, and that's perfect because they got it in black, and I was feeling black. So I'm probably going to get about um, maybe like two of these ones since I got two of the other versions of them. And these ones are 396. Super like stretchy material you guys super stretchy and as i can tell you uh i think this one tells you to say super soft fitted so yeah i'm gonna grab like two of these i got the uh the clothing stuff that i wanted from here and now i'm going to head to the tea and um i think it's this tea called arnica um so i'm just gonna check it out and i want some for my uh for my place but i may take some with me uh, I'm not sure if the nurses will be providing uh, this particular type of tea, but I'm thinking, I'm, I mean, they're feeding us, so I'm thinking they're already gonna have tea there for us. So I really wanna just get tea for just my place whenever I do come back home from recovering at the recovery house. So stay tuned. I'm gonna see what type of tea they got. Now let me ask this gentleman real quick where the teas are at.
Excuse me, where's your teas at? The box teas. Teas? Yeah, like Arnica tea, stuff like that. Um, tea, like Arnica tea. <laughs> that, you know, like that being a packet and tea, stuff. Tea. Yeah, tea, oh, like the um, packets. 21. 21. 21, okay, thank you. Alrighty, so I'm going to the teas. Yes. My lip gloss is literally, I feel like sticking to my mask. This is so annoying. I do not like wearing these masks at all. All right, so I'm at Owl's 21. Oh, here's all the teas. So I heard someone mention Arnica. I'm not sure if that's the tea I had originally in mind, but you know, I forgot. <laughs> so let's see what type of teas they got. This will be for after surgery. They may not have it in the same aisle. It may be like a special type of tea. I don't know. Hmm. If I don't get the tea now, I'll probably come back and get it. Sierra peppermint ginger. Huh. You guys may spot it out before me. <laughs> Uh, it's called Arnica. I haven't heard of it before. I may need to ask someone in pharmacy. They may know. Hmm. Cause I usually get like lemon tea. I love lemon tea. I don't know if that'll be a good tea to get for healing, uh, for the surgery part, or if it's just like a regular nice tea to make you just feel better if you got like a cold or something but I still may get it anyway. I'm gonna get this just to get it. I'm gonna have to ask the body. If I get it, you guys will know in the next video. <laughs> oh, which is cool. It won't be today though. Maybe tomorrow. So now, um, I highly doubt that they have Clorox wipes and Lysol spray because Every time I come here, they're always sold out. I mean, I could probably peek. Um, just wanna be in that aisle. Like, that sucks. Like, I be wanting this stuff so bad. Some ISO wipes and just the ISO spray. Or the Clorox wipes. And they just always be sold out. Um, another thing is I could use some, no, Clorox wipes should be good. I would definitely like that for my place once after surgery, but I, at least I have bleach and stuff. So I'm not that pressed, but I've been wanting that stuff for a minute now. And every time I come here, I never see it. And it's not even just Walmart. It'd be like other places. I look, they're like steady being sold out of stuff, but it's cool. Cause I got that bleach. And that Dawn soap. <laughs> um, I think I'm good on like detergent for right now for home, so I'm not worried about that. Um, and a good thing about me being in the recovery home is the nurses, while I'm resting or whatever, or showering, they'll be washing my faha. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to where they have like the soaps and stuff and. I gotta get like some doggy pads, stuff like that. So stay tuned, y'all. Okay, so I wanna see if they got some, I think it's called Arnica Gel. May have to ask, but I would like some of that. I was told to help with like scarring after surgery. Um, I do have Neosporin. I have like a couple of them at home. So I don't know if I wanna just buy a fresh one just to take with me or just bring the one I got from home. I'm not sure yet, but I do have some already. So I may just use what, what I got. Um, so I'm not sure if I see it. Um, so I'll have to probably look somewhere else or ask them do they have it. Um, but yeah, it's called Arnica Gel, you guys. I'm gonna try to Google it too, just to know what it kind of looks like. So yeah, 
other than that, I don't think I need anything from over here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, they finally got the face mask in here. <laughs> I remember when this first COVID thing started happening, I couldn't find no mask for nothing. But they're stocked, y'all, at Walmart. <laughs> oh, it's right there above your head. <laughs> Do you think this will be the nice best one? This is the only one? Or this is like the good one? Mm, the actual I know one? More people use Ben Gay um, versus that one. So, and this is for like the scarring, right? For bruises and scars. Like for pain? Like um, open like bruise, like scars, just to help you heal like your wounds. Mm, I don't know about that one. Oh, okay. I don't know what the pharmacy stuff, but I don't think. It's so okay. well. Somebody mentioned it like for like surgery, like if you have like open, just to help you like your scars heal good and for not get infected. Is it weren't a pain at all? Uh, I don't think some more so for the pain. I, I think yeah, just to feel better. I think that too. Oh, I mean, if it works for them, it'll, it'll work. Oh, okay. And it's yeah. the one. Yep. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep. So I guess this is it. Alrighty. And then boom, we got the poise pads. And then I'm going to be looking for the doggy pads. So, please. I think they're called Depends, too. Like, I don't know if that's the same thing. It's the Poise pads. It's considered the Depends. Which one? The Poise pads. Are they considered the Depends? Is it, like, it's the same thing? Yeah, uh, same thing. Just different manufacturer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, no okay, you guys. So... I know I want to get the extra large, but I'm not sure if I want to get the overnight or just the regular. It probably doesn't even matter. <laughs> um, I see these down here. Um, but what size is it? Off extra coverage. Um, this one says max. All right, you guys. So I'm looking at the depends. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a size a large. Um, being that because from surgery, I know I'm going to be like probably super swollen. So I'm just going to get a large. Um, just to be on the safe side, you know. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go with the always or the depends. I'll probably just go with the depends. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so... I got the uh, the underwear and now I'm just gonna look at the soaps again. And then um, I know I wanna go like some grocery shopping, um, getting like soups and Gatorades and stuff for my place and more water. But I'm gonna do that right before I leave out um, to surgery. I'm not gonna do it so soon. Uh, so probably like, yeah, like right before. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. I just wanted to get like my essentials just for the actual trip. And just some things for like for when I come back home. Also, uh, I gotta go still get the doggy pads, and then I'm just about done. So, I think there's one more type of uh, soap that they've requested. I gotta relook at my email, but I'm going to get another pack of the Dow soap. Um, so this is the one that I get. So I'm just gonna probably bring uh just the two for my trip. And I already have an extra one at home, so I'm good for now at my place for when I do come back home from the surgery. But I'm just going to take this for my actual trip. Because I'm only going to be there uh, for just a couple days, so I don't need that much stuff, you guys. And, like, um, a lot of the stuff, uh, some people, like, go above and beyond and get, like, way too much stuff that you're probably not even going to need. I just want to get, All like, right, you guys, I think I got everything. And so now I'm about to check out and be on my way home. So stay tuned because I'm going to go over everything and show you guys everything as well. So stay tuned. Leaving Walmart. I am leaving Walmart. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, West Indy Collection. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited to be doing this video. This will be episode three of my BBL journey, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Um, this video will be about my essential supplies for my BBL surgery. 
and just you know give you guys some updates if you guys are interested then stay tuned <music>
the whole take it like vitamins, this is new to me. And I get it, they want you to be like safe and you know, good for your surgery. So, you know, I'm gonna do what I gotta do, baby. <laughs> so I got those three. So, and I'm going, actually, I just reminded myself, I need to take them. So I will be taking that after this video. So yeah, I've been started those for probably about, I wanna say a week now, something like that. Yeah. And this video is also going to be kind of like a reveal, a reveal, a reveal, a reveal. So, what should I start with first? I guess we can start with the supplies, okay? All right. So, one of the things that I have got was, I know I showed you guys like the little vlogging clips. So, I went to Walmart today, as you guys see in the prior videos. And what I ended up deciding to get was, I did get these two gowns. I got this one. This gown. I know it's super big, but you know, it's kind of cute. It's plain. I'm not being too picky. I feel like I may be looking like an old lady wearing all these big clothes. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. And plus, I'm going to be sleeping in this. And I want to be comfy because I'm going to have on those fajas. So I want to be as comfortable as possible. So that's one. I thought this one's cute because of the color. It has the uh, eyelashes. It says, good night. And these are size extra large. And it was $6.44 for these. Um, so, yeah, I don't really wear night clothes, you guys. But, you know, like I said, I want to be comfortable. I want to be having on my faha. I may still be, like, having blood leak. Who knows? So, I got these exactly for that for nighttime wear. So, I also found, like, these stretchy shirts I thought I could put over my faha just to, like, wear. I did get most of these in an extra large or, no, in, like, a large, maybe some in an extra large. But they're stretchy because, although, you know, I won't be having a snatch waist and stuff, you guys. Like, I know I'm probably obviously going to be swollen and I don't know how, like, big my butt's going to be yet. So, I don't want to get, like, a small or a medium and then, like, I'm, like, wearing something and it just, I just feel uncomfortable. I'd rather be comfortable, you guys, okay? Hmm. I'd rather wear some big old clothes and be nice and comfortable through my healing process than to be wearing stuff, being uncomfortable. You feel me? So, trust me, you're going to get there. <laughs> so, I got this color. I wasn't really being picky on the colors. I just grabbed it. That's what they had. It's stretchy. Hey, I'm going to be healing. This is the time I'm going to be healing, okay? I got this one, which is the thicker strap in black. They're all stretchy. And that's what I love. Okay, Walmart. And then I got this one in navy blue. Oh, by the way, you guys, I wanna I probably would stop this video and put it back in the beginning. Shout out to my website, West Indie Collection, ladies. I am wearing my fantasy eyelashes. If you guys can see it. They are so minky. And I'm wearing my Tease Me lip gloss. I don't have that much on. Like you could literally add your flavor to it okay you can add a little bit and it looks like this or you can add more and it'll be more like of a red 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 color but i like it like this too because my lips feel nice and moisturized as you guys can see and this i'm wearing is the one piece called bold baddie it's the one piece lingerie um and that is also on my website okay ladies so make sure you guys check it out it is westindycollection.com right and then, you you guys know what? I had a thought about it. I needed to get me some grainy panties, okay? True. So, I got me at least one pack of underwear, you guys. I got it in a size large as well. Like I said, y'all, I do not know. I just don't want to, like, get a small medium because I really don't know. So, I'd rather be on the safe side. So, I got these. I don't know how big they're going to be on me, but, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> And then I got, okay, so, yeah, there you go. So, another thing that I have got, you guys, was, okay. So, 
I also got the Depends. I guess they have different ones for like guys, females. So I am going with the always discreet underwear for females. And I got these in a size large as well. Like I said, I hope these are not too big, y'all, because these are not returnable. <laughs> uh, so I got those, some always, um, you know, because it get a little bloody down there. I probably didn't have to get these, but it was in the same area. These are the Depends for your bed. Um, Because I was thinking of like the doggy pads, but... I got these from actually like here at home, uh, more so for my bed because my bed is still like new. So I got these for my bed to lay down underneath like my sheet and stuff. And before like I leave for surgery, I'm going to make sure like I clean my bed, like uh, wash my clothes, like my big clothes again. I'm going to make sure everything's nice and spotted, nice and neat. Everything's organized. So when I come back home, I feel feeling pretty good. Another thing I got is some poise pads. You're going to need some poise pads down there where you wear your faha and stuff just for all like the fluids for my incisions and stuff. And I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to have a, like a drain tube or if like it just comes out on its own. Like, I'm still not too sure about that. <laughs> But I will find out. <laughs> uh, I got a pack, at least 75. It's probably too many. But I got some doggy pads, you guys. Got some doggy pads. I honestly don't know if the recovery home is like, if they already provide this type of stuff. But I don't think so. I think their job is just to kind of like look after us and use what we got. Even though like the food and stuff is included. So, you know, you got to be safe. And uh, I'm not taking all these, y'all. I'm leaving some of this stuff here because it's too much. And you guys, I'm going to be staying at my recovery home for about a week. So six days. I'm going to be staying there six days. So I'm going to be leaving the 16th and I'm going to be coming back on the 23rd. So I'm going to be there exactly six days. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need all this stuff. I'm just going to take enough, you know? I also got some Ziploc bags, so when I do, cause y'all, I got a little old carry on. I just hope all this stuff it butter fits, <laughs> uh, cause I know I can get too carried away. But I got some Ziploc bags to put like you know some things in, just keep them more organized and not in like these big old packs and stuff, you know, like step aside, make some room. Um, I got a pack of some washcloth wipes. They are uh, they are disposable so i got like 96 so you know i could just bring some put some of this keep some for home for my body and stuff uh so i was in the tea section um i was trying to look for i think what is called arnica or something like that tea if they do sell it at walmart but i guess they don't sell it at the walmart that i was at so it's okay um i may try to find it like somewhere else but in the meantime i just got some lemon um ginger uh, I usually get this type of tea. Um, I don't know if all tea is good for the healing process, but I still got some just for here. And I will be going like grocery shopping, like getting things like suits and Gatorade and stuff to keep at my place. But I'm going to do that closer to my surgery day. I'm not going to, I just want to focus on the essentials for me going out of town. Um, but I just, of course, got some things just for home too. But most of the stuff will be going with me. And then I got some Dow soap, antibacterial, of course. I love the regular one. <laughs> uh, and then I got some um, Arnicare gel. Y'all, yeah. I was saying it wrong the whole time. I think I was calling it Arnica gel as well, just like the Arnica tea. So, bye bye. But I was told to get this, you guys. And I have not ever used this before. I don't think I've heard of it before. But I guess this is for like muscle pain and stiffness, swelling from injuries or bruises. So, you know, I got to make sure I have a nice recovery. And then through my email, they mentioned to get the, um, the Hyba Cleanse Antiseptic Skin Cleanser. I guess they want me to be able to use this uh, the day prior to my surgery when I take a shower. So they had this at Walmart as well, you guys. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. 
Okay, y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for that? Y'all ready for that? Okay, so you guys, also, your girl has shopped on FashionNova.com and I got some things as well for my surgery. Okay, so, and you guys know how Fashion Nova is. They always like doing some deal or discount. So, you know, a girl had to take advantage but, um, so yeah, so I want to do like a nice review. Oh, I'm sorry. Reveal came in this big bag and it came today. So yeah, let's see what we got up in here. Okay. So at Fashion Nova, you guys, I had got some dresses. I got some dresses. I got about, I believe, five of them. So this is what they look like. I try to get different colors. And they're all different in their own way. And y'all may call me crazy. But yes, I got mostly all of these in a size large. Because I want to be comfy, you know. And like, this stuff's going to shrink anyway. Most likely it's going to shrink. And I just want to be comfy during my surgery. I just want to be comfy and heal and peace, you know? So, I don't want to get nothing too snug. I'm already going to be swelling, probably sore in pain. Like, I'm already going to be having to wear my faha. Oh, and that's another thing, you guys, I want to tell you. So, I kept asking what size faha to get because I swear I got like eight sites. Literally, um, I could look up on my phone right now of what I've been looking at, where I want to get my faha from. That's not the issue where I want to get my faha from. My thing is the size, because I don't want to get like the wrong faha. I've heard that there's different stages of fahas, and I just want to get like the right one. And it seems like they're not trying to tell me. They keep telling me it's best to wait till after surgery. I think that some of the girls that I've seen who had surgeries, I think it's because they already went through round one, and this is like the round two BBL, so they kind of already know. But this is my first time, so they keep telling me to like it's best to just wait till after surgery because during my surgery, I'm already gonna have one on through them. So at least after, I will kind of know what size. I just really wanted to just be prepared. That's why I was just wanting to know. But I'm not even gonna stress myself out. I'm not. I will just wait and order me the right faha fahas after my surgery. Okay. So, yes, y'all. So, I got me some dresses uh, to wear during surgery. And I'm telling y'all, I don't know if I'm going to be bloody, not bloody, whatever. But I purposely got these strictly for surgery. Strictly outfits to wear to be comfy during surgery. And I wanted stretchy stuff. This has a little stretch to it. A red dress. And this is supposed to be a large this don't really look like a large, but it does have a stretch. So I got this for surgery. This is pretty. Got red. And then I got like a mint green. This is nice and stretchy. And this is a large. These are nice and like a large. See? I'm so glad I got a large, you guys, because I just know these are going to shrink. But I like how it's stretchy though. And that's all that like I really wanted was something that's stretchy, you know. I'm going to show you guys that one yet. <laughs> uh, and I got a pink dress off Fashion Nova. Now you can tell this is automatically a large. And you guys, I didn't even spend that much money on all this stuff. I think um, with the discount, my total my total came to like two, I think fifty something, and that's not bad at all. Okay, I will tell you guys how much I spent out of pocket on everything. I'll tell you guys more details as it comes, like to my surgery and after my surgery. I would, trust me, I'm going to let you guys know. Okay, like I said, if I'm missing, sometimes I do a lot of talking. I may like miss out something because and I feel like there'd be so much on my mind I want to tell you guys that I may like slip on something I may want to tell you guys. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Okay? 
I don't bite. <laughs> All right, so that was three outfits I showed you guys. So this is another one. Of course, I had to get black, you guys. So I got this dress. This is like a large. Yeah, I'm very kind of happy now that I got large. I don't think I'm going to have no issues. <laughs> and I think I got one more dress, I think. Let's see. Could have sworn I got one more dress. Is this it? Yeah. This is a gray dress I had got, you guys. I got stuff everywhere. And then I got this gray dress. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of stretchy as well. So, all in all, I got five dresses for my surgery to just wear because I live in Georgia, but I'm going to be going to Florida, and it's still going to be nice and hot out. I know it's still going to be nice and warm here in Georgia. It's not going to really be cold. So, you know, I had to get some dresses still. And then also, being that my body's probably going to be sore, I want to get things that will be easy to put over or pull on. So, that's why I really, my thing was really to get something that's going to be stretchy. Okay. So another thing, I did probably took it overboard, but I got six pairs of sweatpants, you guys. Yes, I kind of want to be like hidden. <laughs> and I got these also in a size large. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy, but I feel like this stuff is going to shrink anyways, and I want to be comfy. So I got some gray, and they're all kind of different in their own way. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I hope it's not going to be like high waters on me, but yeah, like they're all kind of different in their own way, you guys, so, I just want to, you know, I just want to kind of heal in peace at the same time. Like, I don't really want people to know I'm actually going through a surgery once I get my body done. So, I got these in a large. And I have to tell y'all, fall's right up around the corner, too. And I'm feeling this vibe right now with the scrap pants, baby. I am feeling this vibe. And I know I'm probably going to be so hot and stuff, but shoot, this is for, like, at home. This is not really for, really for like, outside got a black pair from Fashion Nova. They're all kind of like different in their own way. And like I said, I got a large on purpose. This is, I think, another navy blue. This one has back pockets. And also have this at the end. I'm not being too picky on that. And one last pair I had to get. I didn't want to have to be picky and choose between, oh, well, let me get this one or let me get that one. Let me get that one. I'm like, just F it. Just get it. Just get it, girl. Oh, yeah. I think these are going to be my favorites. I like the style of them, really. And just be comfy at home and bed. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. So, that is the sweatpants. So I got five dresses and I got six sweatpants, you guys. And then, last but not least, of the Fashion Nova collection. If I want to be in a recovery home, baby, not at home. I need slippers so I want to be as comfy as possible so yes you ladies I got these slippers off Fashion Nova ain't they pretty I'm gonna try them on I got them in a size I believe yep eight let's see if they fit yes they do fit let me stand up for a second 
Oh, yeah. And they do feel comfy. Oh, I love them. Yes. So yeah, I got these slippers off Fashion Nova as well because I want to be comfy walking around because once I do get this surgery, I am going to have to do some walking. I'm not going to be able to sit around. That's how blood clots and fibrosis and stuff start to form. And guess what? Your girl is not having it. So last but not least, before I wrap up this beautiful, informative video for you all, I had got a BBL pillow, butt pillow booty pillow and i got mine from right here and i got mine from happy booty pillow booty perfection it was pricey you guys i spent like 150 on it but and i did get it in a good timely manner i didn't have to wait forever but i want the best of the best and i feel like if i got like a cheaper one like off amazon i just feel like I may not get like the right support, whatever. Look, I don't know. This is my first experience. But I feel like since this is my first experience, I want the best of the best. And I've heard great reviews about this. And I don't want my fat or my booty getting messed up. <laughs> uh, I did learn how to use a booty. Bleh. <laughs> I did learn how to use a booty pillow. But you're not going to actually sit on it on your butt. You're going to put it underneath your thighs. Oh. Crap. I may need my scissors. Woo. That burned. Okay. Let's see. So this is what it looks like it's happy booty pillow so it came like in a book bag how cute uh, how cute <laughs> and uh let's see what it looks like okay and this is what it looks like you guys so it does not feel like hard well when I go like this it does but this is what it looks like. So I'm pretty sure you guys can find something cheaper that may be just as similar, just as good. But I'm going to go where most people is probably getting it or if they say good stuff about it. Because like I said, I want the best of the best. So yeah, I want to make this a great experience, a great like healing recovery experience. I can show you guys and I want to be able to recommend you guys all the great stuff, right? So yeah, I got the happy booty pillow. Because you do not want to be, obviously, you're not supposed to sit on your butt after surgery. No. Because that's how you dent your butt. You may lose, you know, your butt fat, whatever. You're not supposed to sit on your butt. So I'm trying to avoid that. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to avoid sitting on my booty. <laughs> all right you guys so i'm trying to think if there's anything else i think i've told you guys everything you needed to know make sure you guys are following me on all my social media pages i'll make sure i have that in the description below make sure you guys like this video stay tuned for my next video whoop de whoop 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 de whoop Whoop, whoop. And another thing, I, I don't know if you guys come from the other video, is that I am doing this as a treat to myself because my birthday is coming up on September 20th. So I'm getting my surgery done like, what, three days prior. So this is like a birthday gift to me. I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure when I get closer to surgery, I'm going to be super, super nervous. I'm going there by myself. And I, I can't wait to meet my doctor. I really can't and i can't i am going to be getting body massages which will be very important i may make that another separate video i don't know but i am going to be getting taking care of myself post op because it's very very important you guys and you know i want to take advantage you do have to pay obviously more for it 
but you know i want to make sure i'm healthy i want to make sure i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing i want to make sure i'm having a great recovery i want to make sure my body is snatched honey okay so i am definitely going to be getting my body massages and uh yeah so i will be telling you guys more information on my next videos upcoming videos this was just the essential supplies what you need i know some girls get too carried away and get all this stuff you don't need all that stuff okay you gotta learn how to work with what you got all right and um i got like neosporin stuff like that like i was saying and like i think my other vlog clip so you know i just want to wait because you don't want to be buying all this stuff and you don't really need it you know what i'm saying um so at this point, I got what I got for now. If I need extra, extra poise pass, whatever, I will get that stuff extra after surgery. But this is at least a start. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited. Count down with me, you guys. Let's get this on and popping. And let's see this body get snatched, honey. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye.